Okay, so I have chosen my rock and put it on the dopping stick and secured it to there so it won't fall off. Got my sanding block, I'm going to add some water and all you do is you just sand it down to get the basic shape that you need before going on to the glass platform. So see how the rough edges has already come off? And then you just do that to get the basic shape. Okay, I'll keep going on that and show you when I've got my shape done. Yep. After removing unwanted material from your stone, it is now time to do the shaping of it. So you can see I've just gotten it all cleaned as much as I can. There's still a couple of areas there, but as we go through the stages, that will actually come down. So all you have to do is go back to your block, add the water, and just start to do the figure eight shaping and rolling the stone as you're doing it and you'll find that a little bit of the wax will actually come onto the stone but that's fine it can be removed later and all you have to do is keep going on that and looking and just shaping so do a bit chop and you can see the points are starting to come down to getting a nice shape so I'll keep shaping this and I'll show you when I finish the next stage. Okay. okay, I have shaped my stone to the desired shape I'm having it done at the moment. So it's just basic shape. And now I've finished with my block. I've gone to my glass um, pl plate and I'm going to go with number one, which is the coarsest grit. All you have to do is put a pinch on your plate. Only a little bit is needed so this will last you a very long time. A little squirt of water and then you just get your stone. And you can see it's already starting to work wonders on it. Look at the colour coming out underneath the bottom there. Isn't that beautiful? So this will actually last you until you finish this stage. You won't need to add any more. You just keep going on that there by rotating the stone. There we go. So I just wash that down, remove any excess off of that. You can see that's nice, not sharp or anything. It's ready for the next stage. Okay. Okay, so we've done number one grit on that there and I've removed as much as I want to from the stone. We are now going on to number two grit and then the same process, you just put a pinch on that because you don't need much. Don't forget to clean your um, plate every time, clean and dry it so that way the fresh grit is on there. A little bit of the water and we're going to go again. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to do the figure eight or whether you want to do the circles and just move around, whatever works best for you. So I'm actually finding the figure eight does better work for me. And then just turn it around and then just keep going. And then you can go on to the top. Spray a little bit and just uh, see how that's going. You can see that's turning out really nice. Did you want to? It's actually taking form of a beautiful stone. 
colors popping everywhere so I'm going to keep working on this one here and just shape up dome up and get it ready because then we go on to number three and number four okay okay so I've finished with number two grit now moving on to number three grit I've numbered them so that way you just follow through the series um, and the grits are actually wrote on there so you know how much the grit is 80 220 whatever it is so same process just a little bit of this and you can see that as you get finer it becomes like a powder so you probably only need a tiny amount on it tiny bit of the water and then once again back onto it it's good arm muscles can hear the sound changes as you go through. The number one was like a grinding sound. Now it's starting to get to that very small, high pitched sound. It's wonderful, you know it's working really well. So you can see, I just wiped that off a little bit, how smooth that's actually coming. It's really good. So just keep working that there and get it down to the shape because we've only got one more grit to go to before we get onto our polish. Okay, we're on to our last stage of the grits at the moment. You can see the stone is coming up really nicely with the colour popping in that. Beautiful. So number four is what we're up to. That's the last one on our grit. It's a 1200 grit. So we're going to just put a little bit of that onto it. And it's a very fine powder. Please be careful with it. And a little bit of the spray. And then the same process as before, just grind it in, figure eight, circle, whatever you're happier to actually use with the motions. And this is just getting that final stage of sanding done. So just have a look and see how your stone's going shape-wise. This should bring out the color beautifully before we go on to the polishing and leather mat. All right, I'll keep going with this and show you the next stage. Okay, so we've done that there. We're now up to our polish and our leather mat. So all you have to do is to put a bit of water on your mat to begin with. Take your number five. Add the water. Till it comes that little pasty. And off you go, same thing. It's nice and quiet, this one. Oh, look at that, that's looking good. Nice paste there. So you can see it's a nice pasty. Keep adding water if you need to, because it is leather pad, it will absorb it. Okay, I'll keep going with this and show you what it's done. Main thing is to have fun. Now. Okay into the last stage now it's all done let me just clean that off what a beautiful stone we've ended up with look at that isn't that beautiful absolutely stunning so at special k's opal we think your first parcel in the kit should pay for your investment our rub it anywhere kit is a guaranteed money maker how fun was that to do hope you have as much fun as what i have cheers guys